Hi my loves, welcome to today's Abercrombie & Fitch first impressions. Now, I have done one Abercrombie & Fitch haul once before. So this is technically like my second impression because that one was my first, but it was a long time ago. It was a summer collection. I've never bought stuff from their autumn winter stuff. So it's my first impression of their autumn winter collection. I've heard so many people rave about Abercrombie and Fitch that I had to buy it and try it out for myself. So let's get into today's video and see what we find. I have a rather large box. Okay, so the first piece I've picked up is this really gorgeous, heavy knitted zip up cardi. Now this is just a nice alternative to your everyday knitted jumper. Also great for transitional piece. The weight on it I'm really impressed with. I love the gold zips, giving that like that quite premium brand Varley vibes. Um, I picked up in a medium because I think that's what a 12 is in Abercrombie. So I'm a UK size 12 and a 5 foot 9 for reference. Um, I'm really excited to try this on. I'm thinking it'd be lovely, just styled with. I actually am really loving cream with grey. So I'm thinking this will be really nice with like a pair of wide leg grey jeans and then your favourite Uggs. That's the vibe I'm going to go for and we'll try it on and see what we think. Obsessed, in love, obsessed. I feel like that's all I need to say because this is speaking for itself. This is just dreamy. Love it styled like this. I've just walked up the stairs, out of breath, but oh my god it's so soft so nice so easy to wear literally just put that on it looks like such an easy elevated outfit i've just got my favorite jeans on my favorite uggs on we've got an outfit all together it's so soft as well i just like want to wear it because it's soft i ordered this party so long ago i have no idea what's actually in it which i kind of love because it's a bit of a surprise for me as much as it is for you apparently these are a must these are the sloan black trousers that i'm sure you guys will have seen everywhere on if you've seen abercrombie and fitch you probably will have seen these trousers will come across them at some point um now i've picked them up from the curve love range and i found this a little bit confused on the website but the curve love basically is anyone who's a little bit more um hourglass shape maybe pear shape so it has that more shaped stomach and bum and leg area so maybe if you're a little bit i'm trying to find the right words to use here if that area of you is slightly larger than your other parts of you, then the curve range, I'm, what I'm told, is meant to be amazing. It's meant to be great for um, not having a gap on the waistband. Also meant to be really great for leg and thigh sizing um, and a bit of extra room for your bum as well. So I love that idea because I normally have to size up and it's too big on the waist and I have all sorts of dilemmas when it comes to trousers. So the fact that these come in different waist lengths, leg lengths. I just think I can see why they are so popular. I'm really excited to try them on. So let's go and see what they're like. So I've got the black trousers on here. The fit on them, I have to say, incredible. Waist is perfect. I picked up 30, 30 waist. I just wasn't sure if I'd be a 30 or a 31, but there's plenty of room in here. They're not tight at all. The shape, the fit, gorgeous. I picked them along. Now for me, they're not quite long enough. I'd actually need the extra long. So I am five foot nine, but I have got quite long legs. They'd probably be fine with like a ballet flat, but anything else, they feel a little bit too short for me. I like them to just sit above the floor, um, especially like, cause I like wearing more, more of a chunkier style shoe. Even a trainer, I think they'd feel a little bit too flappy with. However, absolutely perfect. Just get them in your right length and size and you'll be like these are just what a great wide leg staple so this next piece i have seen these kind of jumpers they're like cardi jumpers with short sleeves styled so much this season and i am loving them for an easy everyday comfy casual slightly elevated casual look this is one of the softest knits i've ever felt it's absolutely gorgeous so it retails at 45 pound and it does come in a few colorways like i mentioned i had a great discount code that i saved some money on if i can find any discount codes i will pop it down below in the description and everything will be linked down below in the description box too um this looks lovely and i think it actually again looks lovely paired with like a gray jean so the gray jeans i've got on today looks really nice with let's go try it on and see what it's like and then just showing you the knitted um the color is this like top in between gray and beige grayish top really like this really like the fit of it i've just tucked it in for you to see 
um, it tucked into the trousers, but it's really lovely. Again, as I said earlier, just easy elevated, nice quality basic. This one is a complete yay for me. So I'm actually really excited for autumn, winter this year. And normally I'm such a summer girl, but I think because this summer wasn't necessarily the sunniest or the warmest here in the UK, I kind of just, I'm over it. I'm ready for cozy knitwear, cozy vibes. I'm ready for pumpkin spiced everything and Christmas and I'm I'm just so excited. I I never thought I'd be that person who's excited for this time of year, but I really, really am. And I think fashion has a massive part to play in that because I love all the cozy knits, I love all the coats, I love Uggs, I love all the just like comfy cozy outfits. So just something I'm I don't know, I just feel most at home in I guess. Um so this is a really gorgeous I I tell you what, like first impressions wise the knitwear is so soft. It feels such good quality compared to like your average high street basics. Um, this is really lovely quality stuff, girls. I'm really, really impressed. Uh, the size in all looks great as well. Just for reference, like I said, I picked up most things in a medium and I'll let you know otherwise. Um, but it's just got these really nice rib detail bits on the cuffs and then on the bottom of the jumper. But this is just such a soft, lovely knit. I can't get over it how soft it is really really lovely and it retails at 45 pound now when i think of like your average high street jumper they cost between 20 and 30 pound but let's be honest after a few washes they tend to bobble they tend to look a bit crappy and you end up having to replace them year after year so sometimes considering buying something slightly higher price point but not in the high price point ballpark at all um compared to like a lot of things I've seen and even some high street brands are more expensive than that. Um, I would say this looks just right on the money, like really, really impressive. Next up, we have this really nice cream one, really nice, really good shape, really good length, softest quality knit girls. Um, I'd say this is a smidge small on the arms for me, but that's just being really picky. Um, start with these jeans <laughs> you can just pop your favorite belt on um just easy easy lovely nice quality piece something i'm massively lacking and i look for a lot this time of year is like slightly elevated nice tops so it's things that i could just wear like with a blazer over if i'm going out for a meal or drinks with the girls so i picked up this one because i really really love it i love wearing white i think it's also a really good basic because you can kind of wear any color blazer over the top it's really easy to style white, it's just a classic and it's something I always seem to reach for when I want to go out of, of, of an evening. Um, again, the material's stunning, it feels very soft, very velvety, like, I want to say like the Skims material, it feels a bit like that. It's got um, a slightly elevated neckline, I love the like ever so slightly capped um, sleeves, they're not just completely cutting off here which I don't like because it kind of like pokes out and gives you a little bit of fat there that I don't believe is really there, it just makes it appear. Um, and this is only £35, it's got the ruching detail at the side, it's going to be really flattering, it's double lined so you're not going to have any um, see-through situations going on. And the quality feels really good and really structured. Oh, I am just so impressed with all these pieces, I cannot get over this, this is insane quality this one. The material is insane, the fit is insane, the length is perfect, this, Everything about this, absolute perfection, absolute perfection. The neckline, the slightly cuffed, capped shoulder sleeve, gills, I need this one in every colour now. Oh, I love it. I'm almost annoyed that I have to spend money because I, I love it and I need it in all colours. <laughs> but honestly, when you find good quality basics, especially like slightly elevated basics, you buy it in every colour. That is a fact of life and you will never ever be sad you hear that fact <laughs> i'm obsessed oh my god girls i just love it I, I can't go over the quality and the price and how nice these pieces are how well they fit how flattering they are like compared to your everyday basics these are next level i get it so next up is another one of these gorgeous knits now one of my best friends Karis actually wore one very similar to this the other day and i said to her oh my god i've literally got that at home in a box waiting to be opened here's the thing from h&m um or might have even been from new look but um this one is extremely similar i don't actually know if i like the fleck detail through it i'm not loving that 
because it's not giving like a deep transparent, uh, deep full colour. When I look down and I can sort of see the speckle white and I don't know how I feel about it. But I absolutely love the colour, colour of the season. Burgundy, it's everywhere at the minute and I just think this is a really easy way to elevate like every day. It's just like that little bit classier than a t-shirt. Um, a little bit more elevated than a t-shirt. Softer, warmer, um, but also great if it's like still a bit too warm at the minute to be wearing like thick, heavy knitwear. Like for me at the minute, I've got a little cardi on. I've got nothing under it. I, you know, I'd be too hot if I had something under it. But if you're wearing like thick knits at the minute, I can imagine it's still a bit too warm for them. Okay, girls, giving you my honest feedback on this one. It's about, it's the same as what I said in the video before. It's just the fleck going through it that I think I don't like. Um, I like the shape. I like the length. Obviously, you could tuck it in. I've just left it out so you can see the length. I like the arms. It does need a steam again. It's got some creasing from the packaging, but um, styles really nice with grey. Look really nice with like a darker wash jean as well, this colour. So I do really like it, do really rate it. My only thing is it's just this slight flack through that I'm not... I'm feeling like it's taken away from looking like premium. From here, looks lovely. Close up. It's annoying me. So another burgundy piece. This one's a little bit more purpley. I have noticed with burgundy this year, there's so many different shades of burgundy. And sometimes it's quite hard to color match and tone things together, especially if you're trying to match your shoes, the bag or something like that. Just to show you what I mean for reference, that this is a little bit more of like a reddy cherry color. Then this is a little bit more of like a purpley deep burgundy. So there are quite a lot of shades when it comes to burgundy, but this is a really nice one. Um, this knit looks exactly like the one I started with, I think it is. Um, I picked it up in the same size again in a medium. It's a lovely, like heavy, quite thick, good quality feeling knit. It looks like a really good length as well, because sometimes I feel like, unless you're going to wear like a really oversized knit with leggings, I personally struggle with quite a lot of bloating and like, um, I hold a bit of my weight around my stomach. So sometimes, unless I'm going to wear, like I say, like an oversized one with leggings, Something too big and chunky isn't necessarily the most flattering on my figure, but if something like this just sits almost like after where my jeans touch, it is quite a flattering look. So I've got high hopes for this. So let's keep everything crossed and see how it looks. But yeah, I really, really like that. Really impressed with the quality again and the colors stunning and it's super soft. Another great find, like I said, this is actually super flattering. I hoped it would be and it is. It's just that perfect length, perfect shape, perfect size. It's got a few lines and needs a bit of just a steam um, for it to just sit quite properly. But you could easily tack this up as well if you wanted to into anything. It actually sits a little bit nicer like that. Um, but yeah, really lovely size, really lovely fit. Again, really soft quality material. Really, really impressed girls. And again, I like it styled like this. Really cute, really easy. Nice jacket over. Because I'm quite a picky shopper, when I find something I like, I tend to pick it up in a few colours because I just think if that's the style, shape or colour I like and it fits well, I just think well, why not have it in a few colours because that is how my brain and wardrobe just works. It's almost capture wardrobing, but um, I just think it makes everything easier and I do tend to stick within a certain colour palette as well. Um, so I picked up this one that I showed you earlier. Oh no, I didn't. I've made that up. But I think I have picked this up in a few colours. This is slightly different, but I probably picked it up in a few colours and I bet you I would have picked it up in a white. I think I can see it already. Um, so like I was saying earlier about the tops, but it has got the ruched detail at the side. Something like just nice and easy, but you can pop a blazer over it. Maybe you could pop a card over it. Or you could even pop it under your favourite like knitwear so that in case it is a bit hot, at least when you take it off, you've got something nice underneath on. But this is a bit more of that like dressy kind of look. I like this square neckline i like the ruching at the sides and the material again is like a lovely soft um soft cotton feeling material nice neutral base color easy to style and this one is 35 pound so this is going to need to be a strapless bra situation however ain't nobody got time for that right now so i'm just going to tuck it in and we pretend we can't see the sleeves um this is lovely <laughs> i thought this would have been really cute for summer However, equally, like I mentioned earlier, lovely under a blazer for like a date night kind of vibe, just an easy, it's very sculpty, very thick materials, gorgeous. I think it would look nice slightly tucked at the minute I've just got it out, but 
it's very flattering. You can definitely pull it down a little bit longer too. As you can see, I'm struggling to almost put it down because it's so like sculpty. But it's given me a waist that I didn't know I had. But I'm really loving that and I think I have to pick that up in a few colours because it's so nice. So next I've picked up these trousers. These are the same as the black ones that I shared with you earlier. I forgot to actually mention earlier. There is a actual stretch on the waistband, which I think is amazing, especially when you're sitting down. If you struggle with bloated like me, I just find you need something that expands when you sit down because if it's tight enough and fits you right when you're standing up, which is the idea, we want it to be like that. When you sit down, sometimes it can be so uncomfortable. So to have that stretch around the waistband, ever so slightly stretched, it is just absolutely perfect. Um, I picked these up in the same size, so fingers crossed everything um, looks good and fits well. These are £65. I love the taupe colour. I think they're a really nice way to bring some lighter colours into autumn winter i love a new all neutral look so like a nice monochrome all neutral look i actually think this would look great with where is it this little um knitted t-shirts i'm going to try them on together because that'll look really nice um also pairs really nice with white black like i said or an all neutral monochrome look it's just it's like an easy effortless way to look classy just wear all the same colour and you look like you know what you're doing. <laughs> so I can see why everyone raves about them, the Sloan. However, these are the Harper and I actually feel like the fit on these, bar this just needs a little steam um, down, the fit on these and the length on these, this is the kind of length I like. So it's just skimming the floor, but this is perfect for me and my leg length and height. The waist again is perfect, so the 30 inch waist is fitting me really well. This is really gorgeously fitting, smooth, easy. Unfortunately, I don't think they're blending well together, these two, which I did think they would. I think if I finish the, the look off with a, a coat, actually, and some shoes, maybe it just doesn't look finished, and tuck that in. Yeah, this looks really nice now. Um, but yeah, these trousers are an absolute 10 out of 10 for me. Probably some of the best fitting trousers I've ever tried on in my life and um, clearly with this job I try a lot of trousers on. Like I was mentioning earlier a good few little basics for underneath your favourite knitwear this year so I actually had a Zara top like this that I used to wear to death I've worn it so much that the neckline has now like gone all out of shape so I've kind of been looking for a replacement one but the Zara one was actually cropped and I kind of thought to myself now in my 30s I'm not saying I'm against cropped things but I just don't really want to be wearing things with my belly out and I kind of like in the winter especially having things tucked into my jeans or tucked into my trousers because it adds that little bit of extra warmth. So for me this was just perfect. It's just a plain white t-shirt. It's a really nice soft material again. The material on these pieces is gorgeous. I'm really impressed with the materials. It's only £22 for like a good basic white tee. Um, it looks very flattering. It's got that nice bit of stretching. I feel like it's going to be really flattering. Really easy obviously to wear and style because you'll end up wearing all the time. It's one of those things I just grab for and reach for so much this time of year because, like I said, you just want to have something nice underneath your knitwear just in case. Maybe go into a coffee shop when you get boiling or you're at a friend's house. Excuse me, just have my lunch. And you just want something, you know, you're just a bit hot, you want to take your knitwear off. And you've got something nice underneath. Okay, girls, I had to pop the light on because it's gone a bit dark. But um, here is the white basic tee. Now, my trick with this is to not wear a white bra like I am doing <laughs> and to wear a nude coloured bra you cannot see them under white tops and it's so much so much nicer but this is a perfect fit really nice as you can see sits inside my jeans really lovely and just perfect easy staple no more to say about that other than I'm gonna order it in every colour I actually do not remember ordering these at all it is like me to order a burgundy trouser However, they've got like a navy seam down the sides. I do not remember putting these in my basket. There must have been a reason I did. If I did, I want to check my order. But if I did, I probably saw them on someone and thought they looked amazing. I need to try them. I picked these up in a medium. They've got a stretchy waistband and just that's it. They don't have like any other way to get into them. It's just a stretch. They're like a really elevated jogger. Um, the material on them, however, is really smart. I reckon you could wear these for like the office work wear styled with a, your favourite white t-shirt and some trainers for a more casual everyday look. Pop a little blazer on, a little bomber jacket over, would look really cute. Um, 
I'm really intrigued to see what these are like on. I have no idea what they're gonna be like because I don't really don't remember ordering them. They also do have, which I think is quite funky, a zip detail on the legs. So I feel like you could wear them undone for a bit of a flared look. I don't think I'm quite cool enough to pull that off, but you know, we're gonna see how they look, <laughs> see what happens. And uh, maybe you guys can let me know if they're a yay or nay in the comments. <laughs> I've kind of got a secret suspicion what I think they might be, but we'll see. Have faith, because honestly, one of my biggest tips in fashion is just trying stuff on, because you just never know. If you like something, try it on. Even if you think, well, that's not my style, I don't normally wear that kind of style, you'll never expand your wardrobe or your style if you don't just try things. So 100% just biggest tip ever if you like something just try it there's no harm in trying like the worst case scenario is you don't like it and your life didn't change at all best case scenario is they look amazing and you've got something that makes you feel confident and amazing and you're really proud of yourself for trying something new and stepping outside your comfort of your style boundaries <laughs> i knew this was going to be a no and they are a no what i do want to say is if you're under five foot nine maybe for five seven these would actually be lush comfy stretchy elevated basic just unfortunately for me at five foot nine too ankle flappy but a really great color burgundy a really nice fit they're soft they're comfy um i do actually like them on it's just it's a no for my leg length okay so i've actually been loving these kind of jackets this um year i find occasionally every month or two i pop to london sometimes for some events sometimes just for like meeting up with friends but i just feel like in london i can dress more classy and put together and we all have i guess places or things we do or pop to where you have these kind of things too maybe you're watching and you actually just can dress classy where you live not saying i can't dress classy here but if i was wandering around where i live in this people would be like where's she off to however i think in london it's just a lot more easy and fits in and chic and comfy and it's just got this lovely gold detail lovely gold button detail on it i love the boucle sort of material it is this actually looks quite big and quite oversized um so i'm intrigued to see how it fits on i think it's going to be nice because you might be able to style it with something slightly thicker underneath which i wouldn't have expected normally these are really nice done up and also undone this one retails at £85, which I think is actually quite a good price point because I kind of think you only need like one or two really nice ones. And they just elevate like either a wide leg pair of trousers, pair of jeans and like your favourite ballet flats. You can wear heeled boots with them. Like you could even wear a really cute skirt, matching skirt, knee high boots. Like they're quite versatile. Might not look it, but they really are. So really nice staples to have. So I just wanted to pop this one over the t-shirt so you can see that you can make it more of like a casual with jeans and this looks really nice however obviously easily you can start this kind of jacket with um wide leg trousers nice satin skirts and whatever and you could also wear it done up actually sizing wise i think it's perfect i thought it looked a bit big off the hanger off the hanger off just on its own um just try these buttons up so you can see a few of them done up sometimes i think just the top one done up, looks quite nice. Um, and then the rest, like left undone, but all them all done up. Leave the top one left open. But yeah, really, really cute, really, really smart. So it's like a different vibe than like a blazer. I just think it's like, oh, I just look like I got a bit of Chanel on and it didn't cost Chanel price. So much so, I picked it up in this colour too. So I've actually got a navy one and a black one and I've worn them both quite a lot. So I thought I'd try and pick up some lighter, more neutral coloured ones. I also think they're really great for office looks as well. If you work in an office, I think they're really, really lovely for that. Just wear them with your favourite, like tailored trousers, wide leg trousers. Uh, they're really, really nice and easy to style. This one is gorgeous. I think I prefer this one a little bit more to the white one personally. Um, but yeah, I'm really excited to try these on, see how they fit. Moving on to this gorgeous camel one. How nice is this? I knew I would fit this one to the white. I do love this. I absolutely love the structure, the shape. Oh, it's like, oh, there's something in the pocket. Nothing exciting. <laughs> but I just think it easily elevates any look. I actually think it would look really nice with like slim trousers as well. I've got it on with like a more chunky on, obviously, but, um... I think because it's quite boxy, it would also look really nice with like a, a skinnier 
fit trouser if that's more your thing but really really love the detail on this so nice girls look at it mm. so this top is actually a black again like elevated basic for me it's not as boring as just like a tank top it's a very soft almost skims like material really 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 soft um, it has got a double lining, it's a nice length, it's going to tuck into your jeans but it's not going to be too much excess for it to add more bulk around those areas. It just feels like a really gorgeous, lovely, again, base, elevated basic. It's got like a scoop boat neck, um, so I think it's going to be quite flattering on most shapes and figures. And it feels really soft and really nice, so I'm excited to try that one. Okay, I think this is the cutest little top I've ever tried on. It's so soft. So like, so flattering, so sculpty, and I just love this like boat neckline. I love the like ruched detail. I love the soft fit of it. And as you can see, just an easy elevated basic. This is what my wardrobe is full of, things like this, just elevated basics. Or I want, I should rephrase that, I want my wardrobe to be full of. It's lacking them in the minute, but this is gonna be 100% also, I feel like I'm not going to get a lot of questions on these jeans. They are amazing and they've also got like a stretchy waistband. So I will uh, leave them link down below for you guys. And I also picked it up in this really nice stone colour. Again, like I said, when I find something I like, I tend to pick it up in a few colours. This is so soft. And like I said, it reminds me of um, a Zara one that I've got, which I've worn to death so much so that like the stitches is all coming away. It needed replacing. So now's the time to upgrade them. And these are £29. Um, and I think, like I said, I had them in the sale, so I actually had a bit of a discount. I thought we'd order some jeans, which I haven't, and I'm a little bit sad about because I was really excited to try on some of their jeans, but I think because the sale was on, so much was sold out. So unfortunately, I haven't got any of their jeans to share you. But if you guys have any recommendations of jeans from Abercrombie, please leave them in the comments and I will try my best to order them and get them in for another video. Sorry I haven't fully styled these looks, but I kind of just wanted to show you how easy these pieces are, that you can just style them with like kind of anything. Like this actually looks lovely. Just like pop your favorite jacket on or cardi or jump over the top. And it doesn't really take a lot of styling. That's what I love about these kind of things and building like kind of a capsule wardrobe is everything kind of mixes and matches. So you forever have endless outfit options. This is gorgeous, so soft, so sleek. I love the like detail. I love this like bit of extra detail. I love the boat neck. It's not giving me like too much of these things I said about earlier. <laughs> um, yeah, really, really nice. Love the colour too. And I just actually really love it with a grey jean again. Like so much goes with grey jean skills. <laughs> so the final piece I've got to share with you, I feel like I've saved a good one for last. How cute is this? It's the same material I think as the um, like Boucle More Smarter jacket, but it's just a really nice cropped blazer style one. Now again, I think this would be gorgeous in the office. I think it would be gorgeous style with your favorite jeans and heels, maybe for like a, a dressy, not movie night, but I want to say like maybe if you go to the theatre, something like that. I know it's something like a bit elevated, but but still like classy, doesn't feel too much. Um, I really love the colour, the fit looks lovely, it's got shoulder pads, it's like nice and structured, and it's not too cropped. So if you're gonna wear like something high-waisted, it would meet the high-waisted jean or wide leg trouser or whatever you want to pair with it so that would just look gorgeous but equally I think you could wear this like on a shopping trip with your favorite wide leg trousers and your favorite leopard print ballet pumps like it would just look really cute effortless chic easy to wear and this one was 85 pounds so that is everything my first impressions from Abercrombie are absolutely sensational I get the hype now um, I'm really, really, really excited to have discovered a new brand because I feel like with my job, I absolutely just love finding amazing pieces and sharing them with you. And when I find things that are actually amazing, a good quality for a good price, it's like a no brainer for me. And I'm like, this is a tick, 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 tick. So I hope you enjoyed today's video. If you did, make sure you hit the thumbs up. Leave me a comment for your favorite item. If there's any other brands you'd like me to check out and try, give my first impressions of, let me know them down below in the comment section too. And hopefully I shall see you in the next video. If you can't wait until then, I do also have an Instagram page where I do share outfit inspo every single day. And you can also follow me on all my other socials as well. 
at Katie Victoria Holland and I hopefully will see you in next week's video. Thank you so much for joining us and make sure you're subscribed.